Here are things that trigger like a Ninjago fans, part 25. Ninjago Crystallized part two is finally out, so let's talk about it. On one hand, there's a lot of things I like about it, but on the other hand, there was a lot of frustrating things about this season. Lloyd's story arc to become an Oni was really pointless. He barely uses that power. Nia's story arc is also not fleshed out very well. And somehow, the Overlord has returned. But he got defeated again, so we'll likely see him again in 10 years, if Ninjago is still around. The other villains were disappointing as well. I'll save Harumi for another episode, but for now, I don't get why these guys were included in this season. They were very toned down compared to the seasons they were introduced. Especially Pythor. And don't get me started on Garmadon. I'll save that for another episode. There was just so much potential for this season, and it got wasted. So to make a long story short, why?